Six days ago, I asked you guys to help me decide my next operating system that I will live in for the next 30 days. I created a poll that allowed you guys to vote for one of five OSs that I was considering, but something went terribly wrong the last couple of days with the voting. Voter fraud is running rampant. Bots are out of control. The poll results just cannot be trusted. So I'm calling it end to the voting now. And my next OS is, let's discuss it. And my next OS is, let's discuss this a little further. Uh, six days ago, July 1st, I created this uh, video here. What OS should I run, vote, and decide? And I created this poll over on pollmaker.com. And I threw up three kind of not well-known, kind of obscure Linux distros. I put them in the poll, Arco Linux kind of popular, gaining in popularity. And then a couple of distros most people have never heard of, Sabian, which is a Gen 2 based distro, Seduction, which is based on Debian Unstable. And then just for giggles, I decided, you know what, let's throw a BSD distro in the voting too. So I put Ghost BSD in the poll and then in the fifth slot I said, hey, if I'm gonna do a non Linux operating system like BSD, we might as well throw Windows 10 up there too. And wouldn't you know it, GhostBSD and Windows 10, from the very beginning, were getting the most votes. They were neck and neck. Uh, one would overtake the other for the lead, you know, like every hour. And then a, a couple of days ago, I noticed some very strange things. <laughs> uh, I had mentioned on one of my live streams that I voted for Seduction, which is in fifth place in the voting because it's Debian based, I'm a kind of a Debian guy, it's Debian unstable, so it's a rolling release. And I said, I would really love to live in seduction. I really wished one of you guys would, you know, create a bot and, uh, you know, game the system and, you know, make seduction first place. Of course, I said that kind of joking. Well, <laughs> I woke up the next day and seduction had almost 4,000 more votes than it had the previous day, you know, and... I don't know what happened with it. Well, I got an email from one of my viewers. I won't mention his name or anything, but I will briefly read the email. Uh, yeah, I wrote a bot. Me and my son wrote a bot to help you because we could not stomach the idea that you would have to live in Windows for a month. We had it running on two computers and had raised seduction from 89 in the voting to 610 before we went to bed. But before we went to bed, we adjusted the bot so it ran so well on one commuter that it just ran all night. We didn't know it worked that well, though. Uh, I think you need to count our 3,682 bot votes because it shows our devotion to your channel. <laughs> I really appreciate this guy and his son trying to help me out in the voting with seduction. But you guys voted those 3,682 fraudulent bot votes. You guys did it a little too fast, so Pollmaker disqualified your votes. I can actually show in the uh, in the voting here what Pollmaker considers uh, fraudulent votes. You see this big red area in seduction? Pollmaker just discarded those. There was also some fraudulent voting with Ghost BSD. Oddly enough, though, Windows 10 last night was slightly behind Ghost BSD. Uh, both of them had about 2,100 votes. Uh, Windows 10 was, I don't know, 50 or 100 votes behind Ghost BSD. Very, very close in the voting. I wake up today, Windows 10 has almost 4,200 votes. So, again, somebody <laughs> is uh, botting a little bit. Of, they did it in such a way, though, that Pollmaker, I guess, did not disqualify all their votes. So Pollmaker, I guess, considers those fraudulent votes, I guess, legit, where the guys uh, that did the seduction botting, I guess we disqualified them. Maybe we should count the seduction votes. <laughs> Maybe we should just count them all. But I don't want to do that. I didn't want this poll to be a complete joke. I knew you could vote multiple times. I mean, I can go back and vote as many times as I want. But I didn't know people would take it so seriously that, you know, they were creating bots. Some of them were creating bots with their kids, you know, as fun projects to, to help the channel at, out. And I really appreciate that. <laughs> I really do. Because <laughs> I didn't want to live in Windows 10. But you know what? I don't think I'm going to live in Windows 10 because what I'm going to do, I'm going to call it into the voting now. <clears throat> and I'm going to 
choose the OS that I think most people legitimately voted for. So before all the crazy bot voting with Windows 10 last night and with seduction the day before, the last time I'd looked at the poll, GhostBSD was leading. So my next OS it's going to be ghost bsd i'm going to try to live in ghost bsd i think that's what most people legitimately voted for if you view the comments of my videos in the last week it seems like a lot of people that voted ghost bsd they weren't exactly trolling they want to see me live in ghost bsd where the people that were voting for windows 10 really don't want to see me uh, living in windows 10 it was more of troll votes haters you know people just trying to uh you know take the piss out so, <laughs> so uh, that is it I'm gonna live in ghost BSD for the next 30 days now there are certain things I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do in BSD that I am used to in Linux for example uh, zoom you guys know here lately I've been doing a lot of stuff with zoom video conferencing video chats sometimes on my live streams the zoom have a client that works on ghost bsd which is based on free bsd i don't think so maybe i don't know I, I don't think it probably doesn't uh steam you guys know occasionally i do uh, live streaming of me playing games in steam does steam have a client for bsd no i think there might be a way some kind of hack to get steam up and running on a free bsd system i haven't looked into it that much but those are just a couple of programs zoom Steam that I know are probably not going to work for me in Ghost BSD. Uh, Discord is another one I use a lot. Discord, of course, can run in the browser. I like to use the Discord standalone clients on Linux, but I can use Discord in the browser, so I can get around that one. Uh, so my plans going forward, I'm going to go ahead and call the vote. My next OS is Ghost BSD. When one. When will I go ahead and do a nuke and pave and install Ghost BSD on my main production machine? I'll give it, I don't know, about a week or so. I need to make sure I have good backups. The other thing I want to do is, since I'm doing BSD, BSD is going to, going to pre present some interesting challenges. Like I said, I don't know if I can get all the work done I need to do in BSD. So what I will do, I'm going to keep my installation of Manjaro. So I'm going to dual boot Ghost BSD and Manjaro. I'm going to shrink my Manjaro partition down just to have it really as a backup. I don't plan on ever booting into Manjaro unless it's absolutely necessary, but I think, you know, it's better not to wipe it out and need it later than to wipe it out and, oh, well, I can't get everything done. Now I need to, you know, install another Linux OS and dual boot to do something. So I will go ahead and dual boot Ghost BSD and Manjaro, but I don't plan on ever booting into Manjaro for that month unless it's just absolutely necessary for something. So probably, I don't know, the middle of next week is when I'll go ahead and install Ghost BSD. As soon as I do it and I get OBS up and running and all the multimedia stuff up and running that I need to to create videos, of course I'm gonna create a video announcing, hey, this is me, guys, living in Ghost BSD. We'll see how it goes for 30 days. Should be a, a fun little project. I'm actually looking forward to it. It's uh, one of the more interesting of the uh, operating systems that I was considering. I really would have liked to have done Seduction because, again, I'm kind of comfortable with Debian. Arco Linux would have been kind of comfortable, too, because it's just Arch. Sabian presents some challenges being Gen 2 based not how not sure how that would have worked windows 10 would have been all right as far as everything just typically works in windows 10 like the issues i i asked about with ghost bsd zoom steam Discord, you know all the programs that i want to run are going to run in windows i'll have no problem with that i'll just hate myself for using windows though if i had to choose windows 10 you know it's proprietary garbage it's it's spyware you know it, it's not a secure operating system I just really did not want to do Windows 10 I would have done it had I thought you know you guys really wanted to see it but it was mostly just troll votes and then of course at the end somebody just botting way out of control I, I don't know if it was the, the Russians trying to uh, influence the voting like they did with uh, Hillary and Trump but somebody there at the end really was was wanting Windows 10 to uh, to win I don't know Bill Gates uh, I don't know <laughs> 
<laughs> Before I go, I do need to give a special thanks to my patrons, all my Patreon supporters. David, Carlos, Nick, Daniel, Brian, Leor, A.K. Ron, Keith, Dan, Michael, Tony, Bruno, David, Mike, Silvio, Omar, Mark, Mr. Neely Pops, John, Carl, Greg, Rob, Matt, Christian, Tiedemann, Stephen Z, Eduardo, Alex, J, Benjamin, Stephen B, Marcus, Interceptor, Two Belly, Hugh Made, First Paul, Second Paul, Chuck, Ben, John, Swami, Mr. Smarty Pants, Dan, and Bart. You guys rock. You guys help make this show possible. Peace, guys. 